My next guest is a former Trump campaign aide who got caught up in the special counsel probe himself, testified under oath multiple times, and you see him there, has said that Mueller's investigation has forced his family, his whole life, to be put on pause for two years. Here now, Michael Caputo. Michael, the report is out. Your reaction? Uh, it's my birthday, uh, really. And uh, I know Robert Mueller knew that because he knew everything about me. And I'm going to take this as the best president I could ever, president I could ever get. Wow. Um, it's over for my family. Uh, our criminal legal exposure is over. We may have some legal exposure, I'm sorry, some political exposure from the Democrats that can't accept the truth. Uh, but I don't have any problem with that. After everything we've been through, Chairman Nadler, Chairman Schiff, I got no, I got no issue with them. You know, Michael, uh, we've been talking, and I've been asking guests about this. You want to be careful not to get ahead of the story. But what you're talking mm -hmm. about is with the word that there are no further indictments, and you've been through so much already, just the idea that this is now in the hands of the attorney general, you consider that closure? I do. You know, uh, I've always been nothing but a, a witness here, just like many other people, dozens of other people. But the one thing we've always known is this is an aggressive group of investigators, probably the most remarkable set of investigators ha have ever been assembled by the federal government in the 21st century. Like them or hate them, they're tough, and they can flip you into a subject or a target of this investigation in the blink of an eye. And so we were always, all of us, in peril. That's why we, all of us, the smart ones, got really good attorneys. So, you know, yeah, every breath you take when the Mueller investigation is, uh, is in business, is a difficult breath, and I'm breathing very freely right now. You know, I interviewed Ken Starr and, and the person who took over the investigation of the Clintons and Whitewater, uh, Robert Ray, uh, that just earlier today, and they both said, you say the best in, in the last hundred years, this is what prosecutors do, and at a federal level, this is how they do it, and you got to be careful sitting down with them unless you have very good representation. You know, very early on after your conversations, you were able to share a little bit about what was asked. What direction did you feel that they were going in in all of this? Well, they always believed that there was Russian collusion. I believe did that they, say you know, that they looked at exactly their charge, their assignment, you know, to, to, to investigate possible collusion between the Trump campaign and the Kremlin. They, looked, they took that very seriously. Every single question they asked mm. me had to do with the potential Russian collusion. And I know from all, you know, the rest of the people that are involved in this thing, I mean, we're all Trump associates. We all worked on the campaign, at least most of us did. And uh, we'd all talk, and, and they were talking about Russian collusion, interviewing people about possibility of Russian influence on the campaign as late as a week ago. So this has always mm. been about Russian collusion. And here's the thing, Harris. You know, the idea that the president of the United States or a candidate who becomes president of the United States would collude with a foreign power should be frightening to all of America, no matter what party you're from. And the fact that the Mueller investigation, the most remarkable group of investigators that we could have assembled, likely found no collusion. We see no indictments left. I can do the math. You can do the math. There's not going to be any collusion. There's not going to be any obstruction. If they're able to prove it didn't happen, it's a good thing. And the fact that the Democrats in the House can't accept this, can't accept that their headlines are over, their airtime is over, their fundraising is over, the fact that they can't accept that speaks volumes about what kind of people they are. You know, it's interesting. Uh, for anybody who's watching and may doubt what you're saying to any degree, we just learned, I mean, just really how much the impeachment process has been focused on when the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi had to push against it. She had to keep people in her own party from overreaching on that matter. Wait until the Mueller report comes out. We'll have to see what's in it and whether or not they get what they need to go ahead with that. But even Representative Al Green among the Democrats in the House was calling for this months and months ago. Try to impeach the president based on what you know ahead of the Mueller report. This was supposed to be the big one. And so we all have waited. And now that it's in the hands of William Barr, you say it's your birthday. Happy birthday. It, uh, it and is my birthday. And let me tell you something. I believe impeachment is a metaphysical certitude. I think that Speaker uh, Pelosi was, was trying to back people off just to cool things off. They're going to try and find something. If they can't, they're going to create something. They, they get to define what is a high crime and misdemeanor. And if they define jaywalking as a high crime and misdemeanor, they're going to impeach the president. It's a certainty. We know the Senate won't remove him, but the House, they can't help themselves. It's like crack cocaine. 
Do you have any doubt that this will be released with as much transparency as possible? I mean, the Attorney General, William Barr, in his confirmation hearings, has said that that would actually be the case. I'm looking down. Uh, Senator uh, Elizabeth Warren, who, of course, is running for the White House in 2020, Robert Mueller's finished his report. He's delivered it to Attorney General William Barr. The American people deserve the full report. Sign our petition to make Mueller report public immediately. Senator Cory Booker, you can sign on with him, too, but it also goes to a click to, uh, to raise money, donations. What are your thoughts about it getting out? Are you worried about that? Well, we all know these guys are looking for emails to raise money. All these presidential candidates are going to ride this pony as long as they can. The fact of the matter is, I stand with the president. Release the whole thing. Don't redact a darn thing, as far as I'm concerned. The fact is, the Russians were trying to meddle in our election. I'd be surprised if they haven't tried to meddle in every single election we've had hmm. since, the, uh, since the Soviet Union. It's a fact. And, and, you know, I know that there was no collusion because I was there. I know that the president didn't obstruct because I know what kind of man he is. I'm with him. Let it all hang out and let the Democrats, you know, strap on the clown shoes and put on the white paint Whoop. and make fools of themselves as they climb in the clown car trying to continue to prove wow. collusion. Michael Caputo, I know that your big grievance has been how much your family life has been disrupted. Uh, let it all hang out will be your final words on your birthday, sir. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.